my my word of advice to some of our members to some of the councillors who are having sinister meetings with the uh, one honorable calabar both here in Lopla province and we hear some are being ferried to Lusaka for same, for same kind of sinister meetings is that you will be left in the court and I'm being honest with you Honorable Harry Kalaba will leave you in the court and it will be very difficult for you to come back it will be very difficult to come back to your positions where you are because that I can tell you I can tell you that Honorable Hadi Kalaba had been consistent in denying that he was undermining the party. We asked him several times and he was consistent. What is he doing today? He's openly undermining the party. As a party, we have information coming from the organs, coming from the structures in Bahati, coming from the districts across Wapla province, coming from all the constituencies. And when our people, the organs, marched in Mansa, the couple of months ago. People were consistent and they knew what they were talking about. They petitioned that Honorable Hari Kalaba be expelled from the party because his action and his conduct was in breach of the party constitution. That is what the party said. That is what the grassroots said. And for us as a province, we had no objection whatsoever to the submissions by the cross sections of our party. And we submitted to the Central Committee that appropriate action be taken. And I've got a letter here which we wrote as a province, as a follow up on the 14th of April, in which we said the position of the party has not changed. Continued stay in the party by Honorable Hari Kalaba was inimical to our interests. He was undermining the party. He was destroying the party. So it was for that particular reason we said, you know, the time has, had come for Honorable Kalaba to move on. And we were not just talking from without. We were basing all that on the party constitution. The party constitution is very, very clear. It's very clear on discipline and the sanctions that can be noted against a member. And it's clearly spelled out on page 28 and page 29 of our party constitution as what are the disciplinary measures that can be taken against a member and, uh, and uh, any organ of the party whose behavior and conduct is inimical to the interests of our party. So it's very clear. For us, as far as we are concerned, we are not with Honorable Hari Kalaba. Honorable Kalaba is not towing the party line. Honorable Hari Kalaba has not said anything positive about the party since he resigned from his ministerial position. It's all very clear. And he's holding what you may perceive as that corner meetings throughout the, the throughout Mansa and uh, we know that he's, he's got maneuvers where he's enticing councillors from PF to work with him.